हेलो फ्रेंड्स फॉर द प्रोबेबिलिटी सेकेंड वीडियो इन दिस वीडियो आई एम एक्सक्लूसिवली डिस्कसिंग द थ्योरिटिकल पार्ट आई एम नॉट डिस्कसिंग न्यूमेरिकल इन दिस वीडियो द वीडियो थ्री एंड फोर आई एम ओनली डिस्कसिंग द न्यूमेरिकल्स बट इन द फॉर्मूला एंड द बेसिक ऑफ प्रोबेबिलिटी विच आई एम डिस्कसिंग इन दिस वीडियो टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस वीडियो आई एडवाइज यू प्लीज गो थ्रू द फर्स्ट वीडियो सो डैट यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड दिस वीडियो वेरी वेल सो आफ्टर कंप्लीटिंग दीज टू वीडियोज आई एम कॉन्फिडेंट दैट यू विल अंडरस्टैंड द बेसिक्स ऑफ प्रोबेबिलिटी एंड देन इन द थर्ड एंड द फोर्थ वीडियो आई विल बी डिस्कसिंग द न्यूमेरिकल्स रिलेटेड टू गेट क्वेश्चन इन द फर्स्ट वीडियो आई डिस्कस अबाउट द बेसिक्स ऑफ द प्रोबेबिलिटी एंड परमोटेशन एंड कॉम्बिनेशन तो आई एम जस्ट गिविंग अ समरी of what we have done in the first video so i said that the probability is simply given by one formula which is favorable cases divided by total cases this is the probability now in this for total cases and favorable cases we have to understand sample and sample size we also called sample as experiment and sample size is the size of the experiment i have given you a very simple example of a wall this is a wall of size 1 by 1 and if i want to throw a ball on this wall at this area then what is the probability that ball will hit this area so what i have to do i have to take first the total cases so total case is what the ball can hit the total wall so what is the area of the wall it is 1 into 1 now if ball has to hit only this triangle then what is the area of this triangle it is half so what is my probability my probability is half divided by 1 that is half similarly i discuss about the circle let us say i have a circle in this sample space and i want to know that what is the probability of ball hitting the circle then what is my probability area of circle divided by total area of this rectangle now i will take different type of events Uh, many students are very confused or afraid of type of events so this is very simple and uh, so let us take uh, uh, the events so the first is a normal event which i call it event only and i will explain by this model so what is the event that ball is hitting in this area of circle this is my event this is a normal event so what is the probability i have already told you it is area of circle divided by total area of rectangle now the second event is complementary event it is represented by ec now what is a complementary event it is just opposite of the main event so what is my a main event main event is is hitting the circle so if ball doesn't hit the circle but is hit outside this circle then this is my complementary event ec so what is my complementary event total area of rectangle minus area of circle divided by total area of rectangle now if you see by these two relation i can say that the probability of ec is nothing but 1 minus pe so what is the probability that the ball will hit outside this circle very simple to find out by this formula so uh, this is my complementary event type of event is independent event let us take same problem of wall and i have two area a and b if i hit the ball then it will either hit a or it hit b 
for the first time now again i hit the ball so again it will hit either either a or b so if i say this is my p1 event and this is p e2 event then the outcome of 2 is not dependent on the outcome of 1 what it means that in the first case where the ball hit will not make any difference in the second case second case is independent of the first case so these two events will be called as independent event so these two are independent event now friends i come to the most important type of event in which most of the student are confused which is mutually exclusive and jointly exhaustive so they, there are two terms mutually exclusive and second is jointly exhaustive now what is the meaning of mutually exclusive event and what is the meaning of uh, jointly exhaustive event or events so let us discuss what is these two means now there is a very thin line of difference between these two so student are mostly confused in these two type of events which are mutually uh, what is mutually exclusive and what is jointly exhaustive i give you a very simple example to understand this thing so let us take one example of a dice so there are six number on a dice 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 if uh, each have the probability i am not going what is the probability uh, right now but probability of 1 is p e 1 probability of 2 is p e 2 and so on so probability of 6 is p e 6 now i if i say that uh, what is the probability of uh, occurring 1 and 4 i am only talking about p e 1 and p e 4 so can they together happen in one roll no it means they are mutually exclusive event so what is the definition of mutually exclusive event that the together they cannot happen together they cannot happen this is the definition of mutually exclusive event now what is the meaning of jointly exhaustive event now let us see this what is jointly exhaustive event if i roll the dice once then i will get one number definitely it may be 1 2 3 4 5 or 6 so at least one to happen so what is jointly exhaustive means at least one to happen so this is the difference between mutually exclusive event and jointly exhaustive event so if you see in this case if i consider only 1 and 4 then they are mutually exclusive event but they are not jointly exhaustive why because it is not necessary that i will get either 1 or 4 i may get 2 3 5 6 so p e 1 and p e 4 are mutually exclusive event but not jointly exhaustive okay but if i consider p e 1 p e 2 3 and up to p e 6 then they all are mutually exclusive event and jointly exhaustive because they cannot happen all together so they are mutually exclusive but at least one will happen so they are jointly exhaustive now coming back to my uh, wall problem 
if I have A and B and if I hit the ball then I have probability PA and PB. Then these are two events now. This is event A and this is event B. Then just take a pause of this video and try to find out that PA and PB are mutually exclusive and jointly exhaustive or not. I am giving you some time to please review that it is mutually exclusive and jointly exhaustive or not. The answer is yes. Because ball cannot hit both the places at a time. So they are mutually exclusive. But it will definitely hit the one place so they are jointly exhaustive. So friends, this is the difference between mutually exclusive and jointly exhaustive. This is very important. Many students are confused in these two events. So please uh, repeatedly if you are con still confused, uh, listen to this uh, part two or three times and I am definitely sure that you will understand the concept. Now let us take the axiom of probability. What is the meaning of axiom? There are two rules. There are two rules of probability which will be applied to every probability case. So they are universal rules. They will apply everywhere. Or you can say that these are the rules that probability problem should always obey. Both have same meaning. So probability problem has to obey. So what is that rule? The rule number one is probability is a non-negative value and second is sum of all the probability in a sample is equal to one. So these are the two things. This is quite understood and not of very important for gate problems because probability cannot be negative. You just have to remember this. And second is very important. Again, I am telling you how by our same problem. Uh, if there are two areas and ball hits the area, then this is PA and this is PB. Then probability ball will hit one area definitely. So PA plus PB is equal to 1. Or you can also say that PB is a complementary event of A. So what is PB? It is 1 minus PA. So these are the two rules of uh, probability. Now we come to the another very important part which is intersection and union. So what is the meaning of intersection and what is the meaning of union? Uh, again going to the same problem. Let us say I have one circle where I want to hit the ball and there is a second circle which is having some part common to the first circle. Then this common part is known as intersection. What is the probability that ball will hit this common part? Now what is union? For same two circles if ball hit any place means inside these two circle that is known as union. So it is very simple. We will denote it by this symbol and we will denote it by u. You can say inverse u and direct u. Okay. So this is my intersection and this is my union. Now if uh, let us uh, go into some detail of this. So if two events are like this a and b then there is nothing common in between these two so their intersection will be 
zero. So what I can say now that if two events are mutually exclusive, okay, since these are two uh, exclusive events, so their intersection will be zero. So P A intersection B is zero. This is important for mutually exclusive event. Now take the case of union. Now what is its union? They are mutually exclusive event. So what is its union? So P A union B is P A plus P B. Let us take a important case. The events are not exclusive. The events are not mutually exclusive. So this is A and this is B. So probability of happening A is P A, probability of happening B is P B, and probability of happening uh, the ball to hit uh, in the common area is intersection. So right now I am taking it as P A intersection B. Then what is P union B? So what is the meaning of union? Union means total area. So what you will do for this? P A union B is P A plus P B minus P A intersection B. Why? Because I have taken this common part twice. In P A also I have this common part and in P B I have also this common part. So I have to subtract once this common part. So I have done it minus P A intersection B for mutually uh, non-exclusive event. Now if you see what is the meaning of union. So the meaning of union is at least one event to happen. So this is the meaning of union, at least one event to happen. So there is a chance that A happen and B also happen. That can be, a, that can be okay. But at least one has to happen is the meaning of union. So if I want to know that what is the probability that none of the event happen then what I will do 1 minus P A union B. So what I am doing I am using the second uh, rule which says that sum of the probability of any is uh, uh, let us see this again so you better understand this. Now I am finding the probability that ball will not hit, uh, ball will only hit outside these two circles. Then what is the probability? This is the probability of ball hitting outside the these two circles. 1 minus A union B, which means, uh, which means that uh, <coughs> none of the event will happen. So for none of the event to happen, what you have to do? 1 minus at least 1 event to happen. So this is about the intersection and union. Uh, next part, I will discuss the conditional probability and I will take few of the numericals related to what we have done in the first and the second video. Thank you friends for watching this video. I hope you learned a lot of things. If you like this video, give a thumbs up and please write a comment for my, any suggestion which you want to give me. Also, you can WhatsApp me for any query or any doubt which you are facing while watching the video. Thank you. Enjoy civil engineering.